Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here once again with... Tesla Bjorn! Bjorn Nilon, aka EV King, aka EV Ninja. Kapow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a boss. <laughs> so today me and Bjorn are once again doing another video together. But Bjorn, we are not doing our typical race, are we? No, not this time. So this time we are going to drive up to the mountain. Well, actually to the foot of the mountain. And it will be snowy today. So very typical winter, Norwegian winter. I want to see how these two cars can deal with the winter. How much range it uses, you know, uh, how, how it can deal with the snow. And we will also camp by the foot of the mountain to simulate, you know, when you have a snowstorm and you have mm -hmm. to wait for convoy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that will be very cool and very interesting. We will, of course, be filming each of our own videos. So if you aren't following Bjorn, click the link to his video in the description box down below and go subscribe to his channel. I am driving the brand new Jaguar I-Pace EV320 today. This is brand spanking new, done 400 kilometers. And what are you driving, Bjorn? I'm driving a Tesla Model 3 long range. This is 20, they call it a 2021 model. Brand spanking new also with heat pump. Okay, okay. So I think we will just see you guys on the road. Before we get on with the video, I want to give a huge thanks to Motorpool AS for lending me this 2021 Jaguar I-Pace EV320 HSC. It was fully decked out and brand spanking new with only 400 kilometers on the clock. I will have a full review on my channel on this EV320. So if you're in the market for a Jaguar or a Land Rover and especially a Jaguar I-Pace, check out the link to Multipool in the description box down below. They are an authorized dealer of Jaguar and Land Rover right outside of Oslo with top, top service. I can highly recommend these guys if you're in the market for a new Jaguar or Land Rover. Yo, what's up Bjorn? Yo, what's up, Chris? How is life in the Model 3? Yeah, it's great. It's nice and comfy in here. Yeah. Is it better than MC Hammer? Yeah, I'm more or less the same. Yeah, because it's a long range, right? Oh, yes. passing. Oh, let's see. Small gap. Okay. That's it. <laughs> nice, <man>. That's it. <laughs> you know, this EV320 isn't too shabby. It's not too slow. No, you can keep up with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I probably can't keep up with your consumption. Do you want to give us an update? Okay, let me see. I can tell you first. 159 consumption. 246. Whoa! Yeah. Did you forget to unhook your trailer? Yes. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That is, it's it's thirsty like an e-tron. Yeah. And what's your state of charge? Seventy-two percent. Seventy-two. Oh, I'm at seventy-one. No. Oh. And you left with ninety-five, and I left with uh, ninety-nine. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I've. Uh, Spent more juice, of course, but not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. So is that down to the heat pump in the uh, updated 2021 Model 3? You think you're low consumption? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have 159. If I drove my, my old Model 3, yeah. I would probably reach 170, 180. Wow, that's a huge difference. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so that will be very, very interesting. So we are going to do a charge stop in, uh, you're going in Lyra, the Tesla superchargers. And I am going to uh, go to the uh, Fortune fast chargers at, uh, in Fagernes, right? Shell Fagernes, I think. Yeah, I think I changed my mind. We go to the same place. I can just pop up at Fortune also. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so I think we're about an hour from uh, Fogginess now, a little more than an hour. Yes. Okay, yeah. then I will see you in uh, Fogginess. 
Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, we are now at a waiting station. I have Bjorn in front of me. He's gonna weigh the Model 3. You wanna go ahead, Bjorn? Okay, so let's see. I'm going to check the weight of the car. Chris is behind me. Okay, I'm going first. Let's check the front axle. This is a long range Model 3. One thousand kilo front, all right. The whole car. One nine eighty. Oh, that's pretty good weight distribution. Okay. Okay, let's check out the eye pace. Front axle is twelve forty. And then the rest of the car is wow two three forty. Holy guacamole! Wow, I didn't think this was that heavy. <laughs> wow. What? I Maybe thought this uh, was less. Have I have uh, one hundred liters of water, and I have. Uh... <laughs> No, I, I have nothing, only me. <laughs> okay, so we're, how far are we from? We're about nine minutes away from the uh, charging station. So uh, I will see you guys there in about nine minutes. Okay, so we are here in Foganes at Shell. Charging at uh, Fortum. I have the iPace connected here. And I just want to go, you know, show you the car just very briefly because I haven't shown you it. Um, but it is a cool and very nice blue color. It has 20 inch wheels here on winter tires. These are Continental Viking contacts, 255, 50, 20 20s. Um, and then we are connected to a 150 kilowatt charger. This car doesn't preheat. I'm pretty sure it doesn't preheat. And it also has a maximum charging speed of 100 kilowatts, while Bjorn, well in his Model 3, can receive up to 250, though he is at a 150 kilowatt charger, as well as I am. But we can go over here and check the speed we are getting, and at 50%, we are only getting about, yeah, 31.6. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not the, the best... Uh, uh, charging speed. Uh, we arrived with about 50% state to charge. We left with 99 and our consumption has been 24.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Did you see my massive charging speed? <laughs> no, what's yours? Check, check over there. Okay, we're gonna see what Bjorn is charging at. And as you can see guys, we are in winter wonderland. It is beautiful and snowy weather here. Um, yeah, Bjorn is getting uh, 86.8 point, yeah, 85.7. Actually, yeah, I will show you something. Okay. 85.7. Okay, you can take it that way. Well, you can. Um, uh, let me see, you can zoom or whatever. Mm -hmm. You see that the car gets 76. Yeah. And the rest goes into heating up the battery. And the rest goes into heating up the battery and, and the cabin also. Yeah, yeah, because the charger displays what it. Yeah, outputs. of course, what's out, what it's outputting. Yes, and this one, what goes into that. But is this uh, normal speed for this state of charge, uh, or are you slightly? Uh, actually, the, this battery is a little bit uh, weird. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because it's brand new, and they will they will update it. But you know what? I think it would be very interesting to do a... I know we're doing the uh, iPace versus <laughs> the Tesla, but I think this would be very cool to check, to do an e-tron, because at 50% oh, yeah. state to charge, my e-tron would be charging at 150 kilowatts. Yes. <laughs> Though this has a maximum charging speed of 250 kilowatts, but you have actually suggested uh, that before, that we could do a test where we start with... Yeah, almost a 100% depleted battery, so as low a state to charge as possible. 
and then we go to a lightning charger and then we go to 100% and then we race. We can do that race. I yes. think that would be. <laughs> so guys, if you want to see a video like that, let us know in the comments down below. According to this, we've been charging for more than 28 minutes, but in reality, we've actually been charging for maybe like 33 or 34 minutes because I was able to cancel or stop the charging by pressing OK on the steering wheel button inside the cabin it stopped the charging which is a bit weird um, but we are now at 72 percent state to charge and you see speed has picked up to 41 kilowatts but yeah we are not getting close to that 100 kilowatt charging speed uh, i'm not sure about the charging curve on this car but still 72 percent 41 kilowatts isn't too bad it's about zero degrees celsius outside and yeah so what is your state of charge 88%. So, we're good to go? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so we're going to unplug now and we'll see you guys on top of the mountain. Not that one, but further, further away. Okay, so we are now in the middle of, or not the middle, the, at the foot of Filefjell. Yes, 1,000 meter over sea level. Yeah, so 3,000 feet for you people across the pond. But yeah, as you can see, we went from rainy weather in Oslo to uh, snow. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we had the cars behind us here. And what is your state of charge now? Uh, I think about 70%, 69, 70%. Yeah, and I'm at about 51% state of charge. And the plan is now to camp here for the next two hours, Yeah. roughly. Because I think two hours is usually the, the, the wait time at the convoy. Yeah, because this is... Um, up here, as you can see, where that uh, truck, that plow, snow plow up there, that was the old road. Now we have a tunnel that goes through the mountain, but this was a convoy point uh, back in the day. So it probably still is, maybe. Uh, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, about four years ago, I was stuck here with my Volvo XC90 in the snow for, I don't know, maybe it was a few hours. Uh, but having diesel, that's not a problem because you just run the engine and everything stays hot. And you, Bjorn, actually with? Yeah, with Melanie Falcon also, if you guys remember. It was also up here in 2014. We were waiting here at least two hours. And I had the car, the Model S, just heat the running. Yeah, and it was, it was fine, no problem. But back then we had fewer chargers. Yeah, so the whole point of this test is to see, is there any problem with these two cars to stay... Uh, or to be stuck at a convoy point for a few hours? That's what we're gonna find out today. So the race is now on, or it's not a race. I'm going to get out, take off my jacket. So I've set the uh, cabin temperature to 22 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature which I've had the whole trip up here. 51% um, state to charge, as I said just a while ago and no seat heaters my phone is on the wireless charger here but i'm going to take that off so i'm not you know pulling any electricity from the battery that isn't necessary um the headlights are turned off and then i have some you know we're going to sit there for a few hours so i have some buns and then i also have two of these coca-cola zero some refreshments we are well in the middle of nature almost so doing doing your your thing you, I can just go right out here but we're going to try to sit in the car as long as possible and then I also have some nuts so it's now four o'clock the race is on now we're gonna be here for about two hours 51% state to charge it will be very interesting to see how much battery we actually pull while sitting here Yo, what's up? Yo, wait, what? Wait, huh? What? Huh? What? <laughs> I was playing a game and it didn't show me. Yeah, I saw you were stressing with uh, finding out what was going on. <laughs> uh, that was that was a, an interesting bug because the <laughs> game never showed me that you call. I, I felt it here. Okay, okay. So, so t tell my viewers, should... what were you doing in the Model Three? I was. Oh, I was playing a game. I was playing game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, play, you can actually use the steering wheel and the brakes and the pedals to, to yeah. Well, can you, can you play like a race sim with the steering wheels and the pedals and... Yes, yes. Cool. <laughs> so, I just wanted to do a mid-video uh, 
mid update here trip we're not tripping because we are sitting stationary but how much percent have you used now so thus far it's been one hour uh let me see i used uh i used one percent one i've used two percent whoa but it could be frac round off yeah it could be round off but um I, I it it went so I now I'm at forty nine percent state of charge. Uh, it went down to fifty from fifty one around half an hour ago. So. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Oh, that sounds yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it sounds about correct. And what I've done now, I've actually turned up the temperature from twenty two to twenty three degrees, because I think it's a bit chilly. And we'll see uh, if I will spend two percent more or maybe three, for the next hour. But yeah, this is very efficient. Yeah, you know, interesting, um, because um, uh, each car does the heat differently. Yeah. So, so uh, I felt like the the I pace was a bit uh, cold at yeah. twenty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think. Had to crack it, it up to twenty two. Or... Yeah, I th th thought so. Also, at twenty two, it's a bit. Uh, it's not cold, but a bit chilly. So now at twenty three, I think it's much more comfortable because, like my uh, e-tron at twenty two. That's a, a, a nice and warm cabin, but uh, this car at 22 is not. How is your, what what is your temperature and uh, how does it feel? I have I have it on 21. Yeah. And it's perfect. I tried 22, but it felt hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Very, very interesting. Okay, so you've been watching movies on your uh, on your tablet uh, tablet uh, EV. Yes, I watch some uh, YouTube videos and then I play some games and yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I've actually brought my uh, laptop. I've been watching some YouTube on my phone, but maybe I'm going to connect my laptop to my... Uh, because we actually have full 4G uh, coverage up here, which is amazing. So Ooh. nice. if you're stuck in, uh, in a convoy here, well, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then uh, I will talk to you in an hour again then, okay? All right, yes. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, guys, so Bjorn has something called... I think Bjorn's calling me now. <laughs> hey, Bjorn. Or I'm going to put you on the... Uh... For some reason, when you when you call on this phone, it doesn't go automatically to Bluetooth. Okay, now you're on speaker. Can yeah. you can, can you hear you me? See? Yeah, can you see it is though? Yeah. So... <laughs> I'm just I think I'm gonna have to roll down the window a bit because I'm getting some glare here. Okay, I can also do it, yeah, just for now. Okay, so what yeah. Bjorn is holding there is a range extender. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a portable urinal or Yes, that's it. This, this is a portable urinal. <laughs> yeah. so I bought it from uh, from Thailand. He bought it from Thailand. Yeah. It looks like this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, you've had problems before with uh, the uh, discharge. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, it's it's the other type of discharge. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Maybe they have a different type. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, because while you're driving, you know, and you're like, oh shit, I, I don't have time to stop and pee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then remember to put on the lid. Fantastic. <laughs> so I actually, I don't remember if I've used it before. <laughs> Maybe you can try to taste, <laughs> lick it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, but that is actually not a dumb thing, actually, if you want to, you know, uh, if you're in a range challenge with EVs and you want to uh, win, yeah, yeah, you can use that in our next range challenge. <laughs> you, you, did, did you ever wonder how I won over you on the races? <laughs> on, only the first time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're getting close to two hours now, so I think we're going to... We don't need to stay longer, I think. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's, let's get ready. Yeah. 
Okay, so we'll do an update before we get on the road. Yo, hello. Yo, 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 yo. So. Oh, uh-huh. we, we, we're, yeah, sorry, I, I yeah. had to turn. Yeah. Huh? No, no, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so you want to do an update uh, to, before we get on the move? Okay. Yes. Um. So I am at forty-seven percent state of charge. Forty-seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, after after two hours. After two hours, so I've spent four four percent state of charge is my consumption. Okay, let me see. Forty seven percent. Yeah, uh, I am at sixty six point nine percent. Wow. And I spend two percent. Wow. So half of what this has used. Actually, le- less than half because this this battery is slightly smaller. Yeah, so less than half. And I mean, okay, I have okay. a little bigger cabin, and I have this is a hatchback, so maybe that may explain some of the loss. But I don't know. Maybe if you do a volumetric calculations of the cabin, this might be. It's not twice as big as the Model 3. I mean, it can't be that big of a difference, right? No, it shouldn't be. No, we have glass roof, both of us. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, I have this this thing foil? here, but it's just... Yeah, but it's, it's like... Foil, but it's just one glass. The rest is open, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That should... Yeah, so it's your heat pump is much more efficient than my heat pump. Yes, it seems like it. Mm. Interesting. That is interesting. Like, yeah, I thought it would be more even. Yeah, but still, it it oh. at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, right? We could have been here for I don't know another twenty four hours. We still would have been fine. Yeah, because you know, fun fact is that uh, these these car the. EVs are really efficient when for heating like this. Yeah. Uh, which means that if you try to idle a fossil car right mm-hmm. next to an EV, they might last about. Yeah. So, wait. You have to wait. You have to wait because what happened now is that my ignition just switched off. Remember one hour? No warning. No nothing. It just completely died. And let's see if you get get. Are you are you back? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. So the car just died. Yeah. No warning, no nothing. <laughs> it just dies. But yeah, you were saying that if you were in a fossil car? Yeah. Uh, in, in a fossil car, you can usually idle the car for, let's say, two days, roughly. Okay. Before yeah. you can. You, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the fossil car, when it's idling, it's highly inefficient. Yeah. Inefficient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the, the EV, when it's stationary it's super efficient yeah you only mm. use whatever for heat that's it yeah so that is very very interesting and it didn't really get that cold zero degrees celsius we were hoping for a bit colder temperatures but maybe yeah. if we did this in like minus 20 it would be we would see different results yeah but you know worst ca- two hours is usual wait yeah time. yeah and sure worst case yeah, worst case, your car will spend 8%. That's barely a dent. Yeah, in, in two hours. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so then we will uh, just pack up and uh, we will be on our way. We're going to back to Fogginess to charge before we get back to Oslo. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay, so we are now at Fogginess charging. Um... I arrived with about 26% state to charge, left with uh, 47% state to charge, as you guys remember. Now you can see we have now charged to 28% state to charge, and we are charging at 40 kilowatts. This car doesn't have preheating. We've been charging for three and a half minutes there. You're not able to preheat the battery of this car, unfortunately. But let's check out what Bjorn has in charging speed here. Yeah, so he is at 50% state to charge and is charging at basically twice the speed that we are getting. But aren't you cold gating? Okay. 
Because 82 kilowatts isn't that great that 50% CA2 charge, is it? Mm, no, but uh, there is something weird with this battery. Uh, they should fix it with software updates. Okay, okay. MC Hubbard would get over 100 kilowatts. Yeah, 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 okay. This is supposed to be an MG battery. Okay, uh huh. Okay, so yeah, this is just a short stop. We're just going to top up. Uh, and give you guys, you know, the full trip updates when we get back in Oslo. We are finally back at our starting point here at Circle K in Sandvika. We hit some construction and some closed tunnels. You know how it is at, well, not at night, but in the evening, especially after 10 o'clock here in Norway, they close all the tunnels and they do all the maintenance. So we can't complain too much. State to charge 16% when we arrive, and then we had a consumption of yeah, now it's creeped up a bit. But on our way back from the last charging stop in Fogernes, we had 22.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And then to go to the A trip computer, you can see at top there, this is the B trip computer. It's very simple, you only click OK, and then you have to scroll down to there and then choose A and then you have to scroll all the way back again very simple not not really simple um, once you know how to do it it's yeah it's still annoying but yeah that's our trip for consumption for the whole trip 23.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers total trip today 497.8 kilometers and then we are going to see what kind of charging speeds we are getting here so ignition off and I have to bring my phone. Oh. But conveniently, the charging port is in the same place as on my e-tron. So that is very nice, but it's not, well, power or automated in the same fashion. You have to remove this flap. 32931, that's it. I think I'm going to connect to the charger first before I go ahead and initialize. And we're hoping we're going to get some nice speeds. So charging here is quite expensive. It's $4.99 per kilowatt hour, but you don't pay for the minutes. You only pay for the kilowatt hours. So yeah, not, not too bad, but yeah, it's not the cheapest either. Uh, you can get a 5% discount if you join the Circle K Club. And Bjorn, you can get also another 5% if you're an UBUS member yes. at Circle K. Yep. So, did you get, what is your, uh, your consumption today? <laughs> oh, my consumption. Are you leaving already? No, I have to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my consumption, total consumption was uh, 168. Wow, mine was 220, 233. But it's uh, incorrect, so let's say around 170. Uh, around 170. Yeah, so 60 less than uh, the iPace. Yes. Hmm. Not too bad. Yes, you are. So 83 kilowatt is not too bad. Um, we do have a low state of charge, so that means we are getting nice speeds. So that is not too shabby. That is the best speed I've gotten all day with this iPace. Um, it does help that the last section of this trip was, yeah, uh, motorway. So like the last five, six kilometers. But yeah, I'm getting 84 kilowatts now. Not too bad, not too bad. So we are at the end of the video. It's been a long day, but a very interesting day and a bit of a different video than the videos we've done in the past. Not a race, a very chill trip, wouldn't yeah. you agree? Very chill trip, no stressing, no, no race, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did we actually learn anything today or? Um, <laughs> well. I'm not sure. But. Yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> um, we learned that the new Model 3, the 2021 with the heat pump, is very efficient at heating the cabin at least, twice yeah. as efficient as the I-Pace. Yeah, because you know when we drove the car, then of so course this one, we know that the I-Pace uses more energy. Yeah, but of that, course. It was never a, a comparison. Yeah. But to my big surprise, the, the I-Pace used more than twice as much energy i mean or power than than the, the model 3 yeah. while stationary yeah side by side so is that also a contributor to the higher consumption 
Actually, it, it, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, because it adds up, you know, if it's around, let's say around, this one sucks one kilowatt extra. And yeah. If you drive at 80 kilometers per hour, mm -hmm. then that is uh, about 12 uh, something watt hour per kilometer extra. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe more actually when we are moving, let's say yeah. 15 extra then. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes up. So what we learned is that the heat pump, the way these car heat the cabins and the way they scavenge heat. also the heat from the battery really does affect the overall you know consumption and efficiency of these cars yeah so we actually did learn something yeah actually so yeah yeah <laughs> if you like these types of videos this type of videos that me and Bjorn have done now please comment down below and also give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already check out Bjorn's channel link to his video in the description box down below and check out his video because he actually does a few cool things in the model 3 you saw the gaming but yeah he does a few cool things but you have to go <laughs> to his video to check that out so guys um yeah i think we are at the end it's been a very long day and i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give this video a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye so this is a bit strange after we stopped recording uh, this charging was just failing and failing and failing and we connected the charger once again. We are getting 107 kilowatts. Wow. So how much of that is actually going into the, the battery, do you think? Well, well, at least 100 kilowatts. Wow. Oh, shit! There, it throttles. Battery heat that might be uh, 5, 6 kilowatts in there. Yeah. So this is very fast. But still, we're getting impressive too. Look at that. Wow. Okay, weird.